Hey you guys, just want to show you my HK500 and something that occurred to me a couple of weeks ago when I was trying to do some blade tracking. Now I've been doing this on the cheap, so I don't have any uh, blade ang angle devices to measure it or anything like that, uh, but I will be getting them now. Um, so what I was doing, I had a little bit of tape on the end of my blade, one of the blades, as you can see there, and had it out in the backyard and as it's spinning around about halfway I was just watching which one was higher and lower and adjusting accordingly. Now I had a couple of bricks holding it down with um, a bit of angle on the skids, a couple of bricks, the bit of angle was a bit longer than that, holding it down really well. Everything was going really well until all of a sudden it revved up and pitched forward. Scared the crap out of me. Scared the crap out of that noise you can hear in the background. That's Noah, little champ. He bolted and the helicopter pitched forward and just revved right up. Luckily, because I'm just sort of adjusting stuff, I've not put any Loctite on anything. So nothing is actually permanent. So it's not even ready to fly yet. Um, and the motor, let's see if we can actually get a shot of it. Hang on. The motor, actually moved the pinion moved away from the main drive gear so the rotor stopped and it was running at full pelt i was able to undo the battery at that point and shut the whole system down but i was getting no response from the radio or anything i just thought i'll show you what i found out so what i found was this little blighter here this controls the tail rotor pitch uh, adjusting the yaw goes through the dryer on the back here this plugs into your receiver now I wasn't really happy with this setup, I don't know if you can see it, it's all bent. It works okay, but I wasn't really keen on it. And the servo never really behaved quite right. And <clears throat> I always sort of put it down to probably a bit of tension, always had a bit of a jig. Anyway, this is what I found. So I'm just gonna power this up. So let's turn on the radio. Excuse my desk. All right, I'll just pop you down for a tick. Okay, so I've got the battery on ready to go. The motor is not actually attached to the main drive gear, so nothing will spin uh, unless it moves. No, it shouldn't move. The rudder, the tail rotor servo is plugged into the yaw. Let's power it up. So now, Power this up one handed. There you go. Look at that. No input. Let's pop a bit of input in there. Nothing. Let's take the power off. We'll unplug this guy. I'm not going to do this one handed. Hang on a tick. Okay, so now it's unplugged. Let's power it back up. Throttles down. Servos are at max. But if I can get this in right, crikey. See the old XT60s are a bit stiff. Are you kidding me? There we go. Everything's neutral. Power up. Everything sounds alright. Alright, we got a direction swash plate works okay. So this little servo here caused quite a scare. Hang on a tick. So yeah, as you can see, the uh, that little servo caused all sorts of havoc. Scared the crap out of me, scared the crap out of little <laughs> little mate. <laughs> he went off. Um, so yeah, naturally I spend a little bit more money on the next servo. If you didn't notice, they were um, GoTech servos, which are really cheap. The next one's a Hobby King, but it's all metal race, so hopefully it's a bit better quality. Of course, there's much better quality servos out there that everybody's going to recommend. That's fine. Not what I really wanted to do for this project. It had to be really cheap. Anyway, um, hopefully next one we might see flying. Have a good one. Ciao.